Good evening. We begin tonight with a live look at Lavelle Edwards Stadium in Provo, where the stadium lights still shine for the coach on a cold, wintry night. It has been an emotional day, one filled with memories as family, friends, and fans of BYU's Lavelle Edwards gathered for a public memorial in Provo. I think, maybe, that only the university's namesake, good old Brother Brigham himself, he may be the only better known link in the nation to this university than is the name of Lavelle Edwards. Elder Jeffrey R. Holland of the LDS Church's Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and former president of BYU praised the coach and father and read a message from the First Presidency to comfort the family. The Savior knew the sorrow we would experience when our loved ones depart this earth. Brother Edwards is now free from the ills of mortality and has returned home to our loving Heavenly Father, where he's been welcomed by those who preceded him in death. Lavelle's sons, Jim and John, addressed the crowd representing the family, and former quarterback Robbie Bosco spoke on behalf of all his players. He was with the coach during his final hours. As I was saying my goodbyes, I grabbed his weak little hand and held it, told him how much I loved him how much he meant to me. And then I felt a squeeze by his hand. And I looked down at him, and he was looking me right in the eyes. And he says, Robbie, I love you. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, if he had that opportunity to do that with every single player that he's ever coached or been around, he would do that. He was that kind of man, and he cared about us that much. Coach 